Um, I'd like to introduce Rob Leininger, my husband. He's a physician assistant with his background and focus in sports nutrition and orthopedics. So if you're catching the replay, type replay, and if you click the share button on this video, you will be entered to win um, a month of the Thrive Experience. So that applies to anyone who clicks share. Um, you can say that again later, honey. Okay, go ahead. All right, uh, hello everybody. Welcome to beautiful Bozeman, Montana. Thanks for showing up. Um, so I'll tell you a, a bit briefly about my Thrive experience and then I'm gonna um, kind of go off on some tangents. Um, I started as my wife's first customer four and a half years ago now. Um, I was skeptical, which seems to be uh, just about everybody's story. Um, and I think being skeptical is good because we've all been inundated with so many products and personal claims and stories about how something's gonna change your life. Um, and probably have been let down a bunch of times. I know I had, so uh, when she proposed the Thrive Experience to me, I frankly didn't think that much of it. Um, obviously things uh, turned out a lot different than I expected or I wouldn't be up here talking about it. Um, but at the time I was uh, practicing sports medicine as a physician assistant, um, thought I pretty much knew everything, thought I had the diet thing down, I was exercising a ton, I was a competitive athlete, and I didn't really feel like I needed any uh, help, thought uh, doing pretty good on my own. Um, but in order to help support my wife and also uh, to just keep an open mind, I decided to go ahead and try the Thrive Experience products. Um, and I would say within about, uh, well, anyway, first day I didn't really notice anything, as a lot of people don't. Um, and I didn't expect to, frankly, because I know that um, it can take some time for the body to get used to a new program and to assimilate ingredients. Um, but somewhere around day five or so, um, I really started to notice a difference. I noticed more energy. Um, like a lot of people have been mentioning, um, I was not uh, seeking out the coffee machine. Um, I didn't feel like I needed a nap in the afternoon. I felt like when I got home from work, I had energy to play with my kids and to still be a dad and a husband and a partner. Um, and you know these things it's uh, if you have not had that experience if you've come home from work dog tired if you've been living on caffeine um, that's a real wake up and you realize um, that you know obviously something's different what is it well the only thing that I had changed was uh, I cut out the crap from my diet and I started using the Thrive Experience products um, so it didn't take me long to be sold on the products uh, I had seen a transformation in Elise which um, you know, but it was further evidence for me to lead me to believe that there was something to these products. And then we started to uh, be associated with more and more people who had had similar good experiences on the products. Um, so we decided to promote and, um, you know, long story short, here we are today, four and a half years later in front of you, um, still promoting this wonderful company and this uh, set of products that are out here in front of you. Um, we still are hardcore thrivers, I would say, and we're still introducing people to the products all the time. Um, if you have been watching the local from the live stream or if you're here with us, um, there were several stories that were shared tonight and I'm gonna touch on a few of those. Um, first speaker was Casey and Casey has a great story. Uh, the things that I wrote down in my notes were that uh, Casey thought being tired was normal uh, he thought that since he was taking a multivitamin, that was all he really needed to do to support himself. Um, he thought that energy drinks and coffee, I believe you said coffee, were, um, you know, they were keeping him awake. Uh, they were keeping him going throughout the day and then he would crash at the end of the day. Uh, but he thought that was normal, right? So I'm sure Casey's not alone with that story. I'm sure there's a lot of people, again, myself included, uh, who had that same type of experience. We just felt like this is normal. Being tired is normal. Surviving on energy drinks, sodas, coffee, uh, whatever it might be, pick your poison. Uh, we, we all thought that was normal. Um, those of us who have been thriving for some time know that that's not normal, right? Uh, next was Raven. Um, you really had a, a great story. And the fact that you said you didn't recognize the person that you'd become in the mirror or in the photograph in this case, 
Um, that's really powerful. And I think we lose sight of the fact that, um, you know, feeling tired, feeling run down, starting to maybe eat poorly, these are habits that stack up over time. And you don't see these changes occur, you don't see them building up until one day when you just realize, wow, I'm not the person that I feel like I see in the mirror. Um, I thought that I was somebody different. The way that I have been treating myself, eating, exercise habits, general health habits, um, maybe don't reflect the, the person who I think I am and I know I can do better. And that's a big uh, wake up call for a lot of people. Um, you also said, Raven, that you had tried some unhealthy things in an effort to lose weight. And that's another uh, thing out of desperation, you even used that word. Um, a lot of people will uh, try things that are either not helpful or can potentially be downright dangerous in, an order, in order to uh, try to lose some weight or try to increase their energy. Uh, and unfortunately, if you're looking for those things, they're available, they're out there for you to find and, and to use all too easily, uh, which is another great benefit of having a really good, um, high quality, solid, safe product like the Thrive products. Um, Jenny, um, similar to me, thought she was already doing everything she needed to, was skeptical, didn't think that Thrive could help her. Um, and sometimes, you know, just keeping an open mind about something, and I would say more importantly, trusting your friends, trusting the people who care about you, uh, if they have had a good experience. Um, I'm not gonna say that people don't uh, tell you about Thrive to try to build their businesses, but for the most part, what I've seen in this company is that people are sharing because they've had a good experience and they want to uh, see the same results in you. Um, so if someone's telling you about something that has helped them, that's when you open up both ears and you, you listen. Uh, Elise said that there are more cows than people in Montana. That's true. <laughs> uh, Trisha, you know, she was hitting on the simplicity of the program. And for me, that's paramount. If something is not simple, it's not sustainable. If it's not sustainable, then you, you really can't expect to see results. Okay. Um, she talked about the, the, ton of vitamins in her pantry that were collecting dust that were bulging out of the pantry. Now, how many of you had that same experience beforehand? How many of you had tried things, you didn't see immediate results, or it was hard to stick to, so you just put it in the back of the pantry, you felt guilty, throwing it away maybe, um, so you held on to it, but it never worked for you and there was no reason to keep it. Well, um, again, if, if a program's not simple, then you're not gonna stick with it. If you don't stick with it, you're not gonna see results. It's gotta, A, be high quality, um, these products are high quality, it's got to taste good, it's got to be something you look forward to using, and it's got to be simple, and Thrive checks all those boxes. Um, Trisha also touched on the importance of locals. So, obviously we're doing a local tonight. Um, the majority of the people in this room are already, have already been introduced to uh, LaBelle and the Thrive products. Um, but this is an unusual case. The majority of the locals that we do tend to have a lot of new people, whether they're customers who are just coming on, people who've never heard of Thrive before. Um, these can be a really great way, not only to introduce people to the Lavelle products, but uh, more importantly, in my opinion, is hearing the stories of these speakers that we've had tonight, because uh, no nothing sells a product like someone else's good experience, right? I mean, this is a word of mouth business. Lavelle does virtually no traditional advertising, but they've been able to become a greater than $1 billion company. And it's all because of word of mouth, it's because the products work, it's because people have had good experiences and have shared their uh, experiences with their friends, with their family, with complete strangers. Um, if the products didn't work, then this company would never have grown to the place that it is, right? That's just a simple fact. Um, so, you know, going forward, um, I guess in my four and a half years, what I've seen have been countless, countless lives changed, countless locals. I don't even know how many locals I've been to, um, but they never get old. Hearing people's stories, um, they're always very, very powerful. They're always different. Every single night is a different story, but um, it's a variation on a theme. Someone trusted someone that they uh, knew. They trusted the product. They had a life-changing experience. They decided to become a customer for life, become a promoter potentially. And you know that's how this business grows. Um, you know, I know it's been life changing for Elise and I um, in a number of different ways. Obviously, um, 
you know, we continue to take the products every day. We believe in them. Uh, we've shared them with innumerable people at this point. I have no clue, but we wouldn't tell our friends and our family about them if we didn't have our own good experiences. Um, and we've also been able to build a great lifestyle. And this is a lifestyle company, if you'll recall. Um, people are inter interested in products. You know, they want to know what the products are and how they can help them. But ultimately, people are interested in people's experiences. They're interested in lifestyle. So if, if you're living that lifestyle, if you're demonstrating to them the things that can happen when you have energy and when you feel good and when you're supporting your body, then that's when people set up and take notice. And I think that's it. Any other questions? Talk to them about why this product is premium quality versus other products and, and even compare it to products you took prior to Thrive. Can they hear that or do I have to repeat the question? They can hear it. Okay. So, um, you know, there's dozens and, I mean, there's thousands of, of companies out there who sell nutritional supplements in the U.S. There's some regulation. I'm not going to say there's no regulation, but there's uh, very little regulation. So, for the most part, uh, it's very hard to compare one company to another. Uh, company A can basically have... Uh, money as their number one objective and they can use the very cheapest products available things that really aren't going to work They can say whatever they want to on a label um, They can make all kinds of promises that really you know the product can't deliver on um, company B Let's call it Lavelle um, They take a huge huge portion of their budget of the money that they uh, could be you know buying yachts and cars and stuff with and they put it back into their business Okay, and what they've done basically is they've created, and this has been their goal all along, we heard that on the video uh, that started, some of you may have heard this on Jason Camper's audio call he did uh, the other night. You know, their emphasis has always been to have the very highest quality product that they could uh, produce. So, um, you've all heard the saying, you get what you pay for. You know, it's no different here. Um, you can save some money and you can go buy a cheap uh, multivitamin somewhere or a cheap protein powder or a cheap probiotic or any one of the different uh, supplement components that we have. Um, excuse me. Uh, you can use those things and you can, again, you can get what you pay for. Probably not gonna have any results that you notice. Some of them can be mislabeled, some of them can be dangerous, um, but at the very least, you're probably just throwing your money down the drain. Um, you know, one of the biggest objections that we get with the Lavelle products is, well, it's expensive. Well, before we start talking about the refer to get your product for free uh, program, which is the most generous uh, thing that I know of in the whole entire industry, um, you know, we let them know, look at the quality you're going to get if you go with a cheap product, whether it's a pair of shoes or it's a car or it's a bike or uh, even a house compared to something that you spend some more money on. Um, your body is no different, you know, you should really, I guess the way that I look at it is, the majority of people in this country and maybe throughout the world don't put a priority on their health until that point at which they don't feel well, right? Until disease strikes, until something happens, and then all of a sudden it's, oh my gosh, I got to do something, I got to do everything, where do I start? Um, and you don't have to be, um, you know, super well versed in uh, how to take care of yourself, but you do need to know some basics. You need to know that you are what you eat, okay? So if you provide your body with good nutrition, your body will have the building blocks that it needs to basically have healthy cell division, to have healthy regeneration, to support you through exercise, to recover afterwards. Um, and so, you know, this is really what you get with Thrive. You get a premium quality product. They go to the ends of the earth to find the very best, highest quality raw ingredients to put into the uh, products. And the difference is that well, the difference you can feel. You can feel the difference when you take the Lavelle products. Um, so, I think that answers your question. To compare it to other products I've taken, um, I always tell people this, the Thrive products are literally the only thing I've ever taken in almost 30 years of supplementation now, uh, since I was a junior high athlete, that I've ever noticed made a difference, that I've ever felt working in my body. Um, and so, there you go. So tell them about that race that you did. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? 
the adventure race that you went from like placing 10th or 12th to um well 2013 i think it was i did an adventure race with my friend um we took fourth place wait tell them what it consisted of uh, <laughs> it consisted of uh, basically hiking for this one was 24 hours um all navy seals and people like that you want to tell the story yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, you uh, tell it. it's a military style uh, adventure race yeah there were ex-navy seals and current and active uh, military people um it's a race where you basically hike in this one for 24 hours with about 80 pounds on your back. You have to carry your own food, your own water. You have to carry several weapons. You have shooting stations. You have physical challenges. You have medical challenges. Um, we took fourth place and uh, we were, we gave it our all, but we were exhausted at the end. Uh, we were pretty happy with fourth place. Um, we decided we could probably do better next year. So we went back next year. Uh, by this time I was thriving and I also got my uh, adventure race partner thriving. Um, you know, was it the thrive? I don't know. I like to think so, but uh, we went back and this was now a 72 hour race that we did and we won and we beat the next closest team by about 22 miles over... Without sleeping. Over 72 hours. <laughs> and without a compass. Yep. No, we had a compass. Oh, I mean, <laughs> that's how you. You didn't have something. You couldn't use GPS. You had to navigate with map and compass. Right. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you stopped for more than two hours, we had a spot unit, a little GPS tracker unit on our backpacks, and if that thing didn't move for a period of greater than two hours, then you were automatically disqualified. And, and tell them about what a click is, because nobody knows. Who knows what a click is? But Steve does. What? A click. Is your seatbelt on? Maybe. <laughs> a click is a kilometer. Um, but you had to count your steps. Like, literally, this yeah. is so insane. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but how'd you feel after the race? Because the first time you said you were exhausted, how'd you feel after it? Um, I was really tired because I only slept about one and a half hours each night for three nights. Um, but physically, I felt great. Um, we literally blew away the competition, and at the end, we basically showed back up to the insertion point where we got dropped off, and they said, "Well, we have one more physical challenge for you to do. You have to create, a, you have to build a raft out of um, two 55-gallon drums and a pallet, and you have to swim it all the way across this lake and back." And we were like, "Yeah, cool, bring it on!" So uh, we did that, and basically it was just a feather in the cap at that point. And I had like 15 DFTs on by that point. <laughs> So Don't when say I, that on video. When I, took the, <laughs> when I took my shirt off to jump in the water, I had them like plastered all over my back and shoulders. But it was for the energy that it provided, but also I was getting chafing from carrying an 80-pound pack. And so you didn't I had, have any tape. had some sores, and um, they, were, they make a great band-aid in a pinch. Um, but yeah, so, um, you know, it's interesting. If you talk to people, there's a, a big spectrum, you know, in terms of people's knowledge about health and fitness or wellness, um, nutrition, all these different things, you know, it can help. That's what I love about Thrive. It really is, it's a simple um, program and I think that it is a one size fits all. Nobody has a perfect diet, myself included. I've created diets and I created fitness plans and training plans and supplement plans for people. I thought I knew everything. Um, I really, turns out I didn't know anything. Um, now I feel like I really know. My own personal experience on four and a half years of the product is uh, I'm four years older, obviously, four and a half years older, um, 42. I'm in the best shape of my life. I could go back and win another adventure race. Um, I still like to be super active around Bozeman. I mean, this is the outdoor paradise. Um, and I feel like I'm getting better every year. I'm getting healthier every year. and. One of the biggest things, I mean, besides taking the Thrive experience was just simplifying everything to three steps. There are other products that I use, Thrive products that is, um, from the Plus line, the Pro Bars, Boost, Activate, um, occasionally a rest, move if I've done too much. Um, there's a lot of really, really great products that are in the, the Plus line, but. What do you put in your lifestyle mix? In my lifestyle mix every morning, I mix an Activate and a Boost. 
Um, but yeah, I used to really geek out on gels and goos and bars and all the stuff that you would have and timing them appropriately for a race and drinking enough, you know, just enough water with just enough electrolyte and just enough calories. And uh, unless I'm doing an actual race, I don't do that stuff at all. I mean, for the majority of the activity that I do, and so like a 30 mile mountain bike ride two weeks ago, um, I ride my bike eight miles of town, work out and ride home. Um, every day, or excuse me, every workout day, which is twice a week. Um, I don't do anything other than the three simple steps and you know, form afterwards because it doesn't have to be complicated. You just keep it simple and you keep pushing forward and you keep improving yourself and that's the beauty of this. So good. Good job, honey. Um, so, that was really fun, huh? I, I love, I love Rob's uh, jokes. They're so funny. <laughs> and his, he has such a great uh, breadth, depth of experience and training that I think that is very powerful hearing that medical perspective. So, yeah, that's, that's it for what he's gonna share. And now we're gonna have Janelle come on up and she's gonna share Whatever's on her heart. Whatever you're excited about. Whatever I'm excited or a tip or what is that? Yes, what whatever you want. A little tip. <laughs> well, hello. My name is Janelle Fuchs. I came up here from Minot, North Dakota. I have been, um, I've been with Lavelle for four years. I was an accidental um, thriver. I accidentally had a business. Um, I was introduced to it by Wendy, and we've known each other for a lot of years. I've known Wendy since she's 18. Um, but I guess one of the biggest things I wanted to talk about is um, a lot of my team will ask, you know, how did you get promoters to hop on board? How did you get them motivated? How did you get them to build a team? And um, I have a really, really strong sales background, but that is not what made me successful at this. What made me successful at it was I did more consultative sales. So I was in insurance and I sold, I, it's an intangible and you have to care about people. And I always tell my team that if you want to engage people and you want to introduce them to this business and you want them to trust you, people don't want to be sold. And so that's probably the number one thing when you're visiting with people is they, 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 they can't feel that they're sold. They need to feel that you really care about them. And so if you care about them, you need to know a little bit about them. Right, so when I bring promoters on board and I'm working with them, I typically will um, ask them to give me five names. Five names of somebody that's coming to mind that you would want to join your business. And then we'll sit down and we'll try and figure out, well, what was it that made them come to mind for you? What do you know about them? Because if Wendy would have approached me about with this business and would have said, Janelle, you can travel all over, I would have went, don't care because I, I really, traveling is not my thing. I, I, I had the opportunity to travel a lot already with my other business, so had been on a lot of trips, had already done that. It just wasn't what um, intrigued me. What did intrigue me was, you know, Janelle, this might be a way for you to retire earlier, right? So that was my hot button, you know, to be able to have that side income, to pay off debt, and to be able to reach that point in my life sooner. Um, so I guess, I don't know if you all already do this with your promoters, but I'm just gonna highly encourage it that you sit down with them, you get that list, and I know Elise talks about the list, you keep it simple, you don't wanna overwhelm them, but you don't wanna be approaching people with something that could, they could completely care less about. And I think, I, I know Elise and I work super, super hard, and I, I've seen it in promoters where they've had no engagement with people, and we've done that, and then all of a sudden, the people are interested, the people are wanting to do the business, the people are, know that you care about them, you know that you're, you've got their best interest at heart, right? And what moves people a lot of times isn't always the benefit, but it might be to eliminate a pain that they're experiencing in their life. You know, what would it mean to pay off that credit card that keeps you up at night, all night long, because you know that debt is there? or you've got somebody who you know that their children's ready to graduate from college and most likely guys, they don't have a plan to pay for that college other than a big loan. Um, 
you know, those are the types of things that will move people to maybe considering the business and to push forward and to keep doing it, even when, you know, they're not successful. And another thing I'm going to tell you too is it's a business and businesses have highs and lows. You're not going to be a rock star every month. You're not going to be the top every single month, but it's sticking with it and working it like a business. I was in finance for you know 20 some years, right? When people come in for a loan, for a business loan, they're not gonna be profitable right away. This business can allow you to do that, but I know Elise really, really tries to push the fact that this is a business, have an entrepreneurial mind, and reinvest back in your business and think of the big picture. So we try to do that as well. But um, I think just knowing who you're working with and knowing what their hot buttons are and knowing what's gonna move them is gonna keep them engaged and keep them doing it. So, so good. Um, so true. If anybody else you wanna introduce else? Wendy? Um, this is Wendy Gendro. <laughs> and <laughs> Wendy's my sponsor. And um, Wendy, you've been doing this since two months before me? I was May, May of 2014. March. So. Mm -hmm. I really okay. feel like you should share the story of when I gave you your sample. And, and what that looked like because I think sometimes in business oh. people think but things are always pretty and we see Instagram and Facebook and everyone's lives are perfect and I really feel like you should share that story oh my because God. it's awesome um, okay so Wendy had put a Facebook post out as how I was introduced to this and I was really in a desperate situation to find something for my daughter the three simple steps is what she needed she needed a lot of supplements I couldn't even get her to take a multi so when Wendy posted that she felt like she got her life back, um, this busy mom, I was like, it, it came up, it was like a God thing because it came up on my computer right when I was doing a lot of investigating to find a product. So I contacted her and she's like, Janelle, I'm coming to Minot the next day. And I don't even know what you're coming to Minot I, I was, for. I was in Beulah and I was gonna be going back to Williston, so I was traveling through Minot. What and so you? at that time we had a, um, <laughs> Willow would have been, cause that would have been like April. April or May, beginning of May maybe. Yep. So Willow would have been like two months old. Harmon was one, Trapper was two, and Addison would have been four. Yeah, so four under five. Four under five. Four under five, okay. And I love kids and everything, but <laughs> I, <laughs> I said, Wendy, do you have any, do you have any samples left? Because they were flying off her shelf. I mean, she had put a post out there and obviously, People were feeling like she was feeling and they were interested and I was like, I will buy your two weeks because I'm going to take this and I want it for my daughter. So she's like, you know what, we're going to eat at Denny's. Well, you know, why don't you just meet me there? Well, I had zero idea what to expect because <laughs> there were four under five. She was nursing your youngest and I remember we were kind of in a... I don't think we were in a corner. We were kind of <laughs> we were kind of in a visible spot and I remember she was just you were still kind of tired. Oh, because yeah. she was she had the baby. I don't even know if you were nursing at the time her yeah. at that moment. And the kids were trying to eat and they were crawling on the other tables and there was silverware everywhere and I remember just thinking, "Oh my god." <laughs> And then you were doing this business and you had four kids under the age of five. So, I mean, that, that's what this moment was. And she yep. just gave it to me and I didn't follow directions when I got it either because I don't even think we talked directions, honestly, because <laughs> we probably didn't have time. We just looked like we were doing a <laughs> kind of a deal. <laughs> so that's how that happened. So I think that's always important to explain that sometimes too, like things aren't always perfect. I know um, for me, I am very type A and very much a perfectionist and I don't like doing something unless I know I'm going to be able to do it perfectly. And that's a perfect example. Done is, <laughs> done is better than not doing it at all. Because had I not reached out to her and had we not connected and had I not gone out of my way to get her that sample, even as chaotic as that experience was for her, there's a lot of lives over a lot of states that would not be changed at this moment because so many people have been changed due to her sharing it with people and then those people sharing it with people. So, does anyone have any questions? I feel like I should maybe answer a few questions or is there something that you want me to talk about specifically? I want, would like to keep it short since we've been- Why don't you talk about the about mindset of an entrepreneur? Oh, the mindset of an entrepreneur. Yes. So, um, always having a really good mindset is key. And I know that sometimes this can maybe get a little too, like, people are like, oh, that's too woo-woo for me, or, or that's too spiritual. But the, the reality is, is that you need to be good up here 
before you can be good when you're presenting to people. So this means, I always say, like no comparison. You know, comparison is the thief of joy. You need to be good with who you are and not be worried about other people or what they're gonna say or what they're gonna think or being strong with who you are as an individual so that when people say, you know what, no thanks, I don't believe in network marketing or no thanks, I don't need vitamins, I already have all the energy that I need or no thanks, that's a hoax or, you know, God knows the kind of excuses we've heard. Um, it's being able to be like, okay, cool. Is it all right if I follow up with you in a little bit when we have a new product launch? And, and being able to, to do that with a smile and not getting upset and not getting angry and, and not being spiteful. Um, mindset is huge when it comes to business because if you don't believe it's possible, if you don't believe you're worth it, and if you don't believe that you deserve it, it's not gonna happen because you will continue to self-sabotage um, allowing yourself to not accomplish the goals that you want because you, you act out what you believe. So if you believe that it's not gonna work, if you believe that it's a hoax, if you believe that vitamins aren't good for you or what have you, that is what's gonna show up in your life. And so that's why I always say that success starts with, first of all, success is determined based on your definition of what success is. And success happens when you believe that it's possible, that you are worth it, and that you deserve it. And everyone deserves to feel great. Everyone deserves to wake up in the morning and feel like they had a really good night's rest, that they're excited about their day, they're hopeful for what they have to do, not stressed out, tired, overwhelmed, chaotic, have lost hope, and basically have no idea what they're gonna do with their life. No one deserves to live a life like that. And so those are kind of my little, my little keys. If you believe it's possible, you believe you're worth it, and you believe that you deserve it. If you have that mindset, you can really conquer a lot because that's the foundation. Anything else? No? Great. Any questions? <laughs> Great. Why don't you talk about what you do between the time you take your capsule and you drink your lifestyle mix? <clears throat> well, I journal. I read. I, I have a morning routine. I roll over in the morning and before I even can like barely open my eyes, I'm, I keep the box of capsules on my nightstand. Grab the capsules and I have my 40 ounce water jug on my nightstand. I take, I literally, my goal is to have that 40 ounces of water down before I have my lifestyle mix in 20 to 40 minutes. And I'll sit there and I'll read, I'll journal. Um, usually by that time my baby, we actually had another baby, and so now she's one and a half. And usually by that time she's crawling all over us and, and having a blast. But I really love to start my day off right and set intentions. I really love to get my mind right. And I write about what I'm grateful for, what I'm excited for, what I want to accomplish, um, what's most important. Um, but most, mostly I love to write just down what I'm grateful for because regardless of how awful your day was the day before or what might happen today, we always have something to be grateful for. And then I take my lifestyle mix and I take my lifestyle mix with a boost and then I put on my DFT and I'm good to go for the whole day. And then of course I'll throw in a form and some other things because it's awesome. But that's it. Yay. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye everyone. Click share if you want to enter the win. <laughs>